So uh, I'm here with Kelvin Harmon, um, Kelvin. One of the things that this is actually my, I think my second time seeing you out here late after practice for a good little while with Dwayne. Uh, if you don't mind just getting into that, uh, what are the, the things that y'all are working on, the cohesion? How are y'all working together uh, throughout this all season and uh, in training camp? Yeah, we're mainly just trying to work on things. You know, being young, we're gonna mess up throughout practice, so we just like really work on things we both mess up on, or if it's something I need or something he needs, we just just cater to each other. So after after practice, I think Thursday, um, Josh had helped out a little bit. Um, I want to say somebody else came past. I'm not sure, but I know Josh had helped you out. Uh, was there anything that he said to you in particular? Uh, anything, any words that, that helped you uh, in terms of preparation or at the line of scrimmage, anything? Yeah, he just told me just like be quick on the releases. It's not so much the dancing, but just being uh, subtle and just know have a plan. And it don't waste a lot of time because the rush is coming. Okay, so today, um, has or shoot, Saturday and today, um, has that translated in terms of what he said to you? And had, did you primarily focus on that? Make sure it was at the front of your head when you were running your ropes? Yeah, it definitely, it definitely translated through. You know, just playing faster overall, like mentally, to just gain a nugget like that from him definitely helped me throughout the day. And earlier, like probably five, ten minutes after when practice started. Um, you had mentioned there were some things that y'all don't, you and Dwayne sometimes it, it's kind of, it's not always there um, immediately, I guess that's the way to put it. It's not always there, but Jay, I believe, was frustrated over there with the offense. Was there anything in particular? I'm not sure who he was yelling at. I just heard him yelling. Um, I don't know if that's Jay all the time. This is my first time hearing him uh, that that loud and frustrated. Was there uh, anything in particular the offense wasn't, wasn't getting right at that time? Uh, no, I think it was just a form of miscommunication, you know, but once we got into the team and uh, 707, we corrected that. Okay, all right. So, um, so far, uh, your, off, your your whole your whole um, rookie experience, how has that been treating you? Uh, like I said before, before we even started, I mean, the, fan, the fans like it. Um, they, I mean, they like all the rookies, but at the same time, they, it's a lot of hype behind your name. It's the receiver position um, that hasn't, that we need or the Redskins fans are in need of a person to step up at this position. So how has the rookie experience been treating you? Yeah, it's been fun, you know, just all the guys that's in the room. I'm just trying to soak up everything I can from everybody. Just get to know a lot from the vets. And just meeting guys like Josh, Vernon Davis, P. Rich, just those guys. So it's, uh, it's definitely a marathon. So I'm just learning and getting better each and every day. Um, has there any been any nuggets um, or, or more so mental training things that anybody has said more specific? More specifically, the receivers, um, shoot even tight ends. If anything, has there, has there anything that stuck with you throughout this this entire time? Yeah, um, Coach Ike, he just tells me just like knowing like the levels of DB, just having a plan before, knowing what edge you're trying to get to on him again, like in blind spots, just small things like that to win it out. Okay. And I mean the the, the playmaking ability, I think comes naturally. I think yesterday you had probably one of the highlights of the offense um, with the I think it was a it was a leaping catch. Um, uh, you already know what I'm talking about anyway. But how many plays, we, we've been here for a few days, but you've been here obviously throughout the entire camp. How many plays have those come uh, naturally with the, with these pros and mix of the pros and, and the DBs that you're facing? Um, has, has there been any challenges and uh, are these things still coming naturally against the competition that you're facing? Yeah, you know, I think I'm just blessed with that gift, just having a knack for the ball to be able to come down with it, like no matter what. So I think that will translate, translate over to anything. But just having good QBs out there definitely make it a lot more easier. Um, just a couple more questions. I know you, you've been generous with your time anyway, but Thursday, first game. Excited? What are you looking forward to uh, the most? And also, um, has there been any word like where you'll be playing just yet or, or anything like that? Yeah, I'm definitely excited just going out there, just focusing on dominating, whether it's in special teams or a receiver, just like going to dominate my opponent and just uh, be natural out there as far as just like flowing in with the playbook, just knowing I have to do what I'm supposed to be. So have they, uh, they, they haven't said anything about specifically when you're playing or what, uh, if you're at a certain, certain receiver position or anything? No, I know I'll be at Z. Okay, okay. Um, so, all right, well, look, Kelvin, um, I know I know you got things going on and you stay here long enough that he's probably killing both. It's killing me. But um, I know it's killing you too. But appreciate your time, man. Best of luck to you moving forward, bro.